We're going to go ahead and begin class. You can go ahead and find a comfortable seated position near the front of your mat and start to tune in, taking note of what's happening with breath, with body, Making sure to close the eyes to really center in. Roll the shoulders up into your ears and then allow them to fall all the way down your back. Lifting tall through the crown of the head as you take some mental notes. body scan, moving through what's happening between the ears, the eyebrows, the jaw, the muscles of the neck down into the clavicle. button, down your arms, into your hips, looking at each leg, foot, toe. What stands out? there an area that feels a little heavier, tighter, burdensome, or maybe just an empty space, something that feels disconnected from the whole of you. In this practice, we don't give salute to sense. It's an exercise of feeling into your body and taking notice, even if the information seemingly means nothing. We know that the tie between the mind the body and the heart is so much stronger than what we can comprehend, dissect. And so it's okay to let the nonsense settle within you and just simply get used to paying attention to it. As you breathe, imagine a line running from the top of your head down the base of your tailbone, between the legs, this midline of the body energy. And as you inhale, start to gather things that have scattered out to the side, to the center. pulling imaginary energy in to help ground ourselves, balance out. Take in what's lost, stabilize what's tense. Let go, let in. Sealing the lips, take a deep inhale through the nose, send the breath to the base of the belly, holding for a few seconds, and then let it go. Continue with this flow of breath, this idea of midline throughout your practice.
next inhale, scoop the hands up overhead, bringing the palms together and exhale, gently graze the thumbs, cross your forehead, past the bridge of your nose, the lips, the chin, and pull them down to your heart, pressing the palms together, broadening through the collarbones, squeezing the shoulder blades together behind you. Imagine that midline. And decide on a focus of what a more centered life might bring you. Inhale, reach the hands up overhead. Take the gaze up, open the throat, and then exhale, split the hands and begin to roll up over the knees into an all fours position. Hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips as you begin to rock out the body, moving in a way that honors you, that feels right, that feels loving. Pay some special attention to those spaces that feel like they're not yet pulled center. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and ground yourself stilly. Deep inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, round the spine towards the sky, pull the tailbone underneath you and inhale, drop the belly as the heart and tailbone rise as one. Exhale, <clears throat> round the spine. And inhale, bring the heart and tailbone to rise. Move through two more cycles to the beat of your own breath. Today's flow is going to be nice and slow, focused on stretch versus strength. But it's very important to move into that center line to find groundedness. Exhale to neutral. Take the hands to spread the fingers wide. Suction cup between the center of the palm and the mat. Take the toes down. Take an inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, begin to lift the tailbone up and press the heart back towards the upper thighs. Bend in those knees ever so slightly and pedal out the feet. Taking deep sips of air throughout the entire movement. Gaze is between the hands, both from the crown of the head and the actual eyes or metaphorical eyes if your eyes are closed. Taking stillness as you press the heart towards the upper thighs, lifting the tailbone to the heavens. Feet are hip width apart. Go ahead and exhale, walk the hands back towards the feet, release the belly onto the upper thighs, and grab opposite elbows. If you need to heel toe out to make your center a little bit wider, that's okay. We counterbalance the weight in the heels with all that hangs forward, head, neck, and shoulders release with a little rock back and forth. tension drain from the body. Release the fingertips down and inhale, drag them up your shins as you lift the heart towards the front of your mat. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, circle, sweep the hands all the way up. Palms come to touch and exhale them down the midline to the heart. Inhale, press up, gaze comes up. And exhale, dive down, forward fold. Slowly walk your hands forward to the front of your mat in plank. And then exhale, find downward facing dog. Inhale, round through the spine, coming forward to plank. And exhale, find downward facing dog. 
Inhale, round one vertebrae at a time, back into plank, belly button, into spine. And then exhale, downward facing dog to fold. Go ahead and take the left hand, if you can, and hold the strength to reach it back towards the right foot into a twist. And then set that hand back down. Switching sides, right hand comes back to the left in a twist. And then come back to center. One more time each side. If you're not twisting, you can simply hold down dog. You can pedal the feet, you can take a few crouches, whatever feels good for you. Find center stillness. Breathe. Come up onto the tiptoes, bend the knees, and exhale. Hop, step, or float to the center of your mat. Inhale, circle sweep. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, ground the hands, step back to plank, release the shins, align the heart forward, and exhale, keeping the elbows tight to the body, release the belly down and the tops of the feet. As you inhale, press up, straightening through the arms, and exhale, slowly come down. We're gonna move through a few rounds of these press-ups, warming up the low back. And down. Two more. Move with your breath. Last one. And exhale, come fully down. Continue to allow the hands to stay grounded underneath the shoulders. This time firming through the core, pulling belly button into spine to slowly lift head, neck, shoulders. Take the shoulders, roll them down and back, elbows press in. Take it nice and slow. And hover the hands. And exhale down. Press back into the arms. Take the knees to the wide edges of the mat, the big toes together as you sit back into child's pose. Reach the fingertips forward until you feel a deep stretch in the armpits. Rock the forehead back and forth. Take an inhale in. And exhale, walk the hands over to the right. Stretch into the left side body, keeping the heels grounded to the tailbone. Walk it to center, and then over to the other side. This time stretching in to that right side body. Deep breath. Slowly walk to center. Stretch those fingertips forward. And then roll all the way up, one vertebrae at a time. Flipping the toes, sending the tailbone up for downward facing dog. Breathe. You can stay here in down dog, do a little bit of twist and shift on your own, or we're gonna move through two more rounds of that reach. Taking the left hand across the body, open, and then go ahead and place the hand back, switching sides. 
breathe into the torso. And then coming back to center every time. One more each side. Stay strong through the shoulders. Meeting in downward facing dog. Come on to the tiptoes, bend the knees. Exhale, hop, step, or float to the front of your mat. Inhale, seal the legs and rise to chair. Keeping the tailbone tucked. Inhale, lift the mountain. We're gonna go ahead and move to the side of our mat. So facing first the right side or left side of the room. We're going to go ahead and move through the moon salutation together. So as you inhale, go ahead and lift the hands up, interlacing all but pointer finger and thumb. Grow nice and tall. Exhale, bend it over to the right. And inhale to center. Exhale, bend left. And inhale to center. Go ahead and take a nice big step out with your feet so that you're wide against the mat. Take the hands and lift them apart from each other, almost like there's energy drawing through each fingertip. And as you exhale, pull the shoulder blades down, arms come to 90 as you slide the knees over the hips into goddess pose. It's almost like your back is running down the wall. Inhale, lift to five star. And exhale, settle down into goddess. Hold here. Breathe. Inhale, lift all the way up. Go ahead and take your toes to point forward, your fingertips out in front of you, and slowly hinge, keeping a flat back the entire time, slowly making your way into a wide-legged fold. Fingertips move forward, elbows move back as you gently pull yourself down, breathing into the backs of the legs. Nice balance through all four corners of the feet. Inhale, walk your hands over to the left toes. Take your, your heart to aim at the big toe and then exhale. Release the heart down to the upper thigh. Inhale, walk center. And exhale over to the other side. Inhale, come to center. Take your hands flat out in front of you and lifting with the core and back, back to a flat back, and then all the way up. Hands come together, exhale them to the heart. Go ahead and take the left foot in 45 degrees, the right toes to face the front of your mat. Inhale, lift the hands. And exhale, go ahead and take that bottom hand to slide down the leg as you lift the opposite fingertips up. It's almost like your shoulder blades are stacking. Your hips are drawing in, like I could fit you between two panes of glass. Only go as low as you can without losing that nice flat position. Circle the top fingers all the way down, lift them up, and then slowly rotate the body forward, step the back foot in about six inches. Your heart now faces the big toe, you lift it up and down, you slide on the next hip. Really finding our way into the back of that front leg. Breathe. 
Inhale, scoop the hands all the way up. And exhale, come all the way down, stepping the back foot back into low lunge. Breathe into it here, aligning the knee over the big toe. And then go ahead and release that shin and the top of the bottom for the back foot. Inhale, scoop the hands all the way up, press into the hips. And then slowly allow the back to come a little bit farther and exhale, hands to frame the foot. You want to take the back toes and lift the back knee. Rotating now those front toes forward to come into a side lunge. From here, you can come onto the ball of that foot. We're going to work into that inner thigh. Breathing here. Heart lifts out, trying to keep good posture as you send your breath into the left inner thigh. Slowly walk your way over to the other side. Same thing, that deep low lunge on the ball of the left foot, breathing in to the right inner thigh. Lift your heart. We could be together like a clock. Take our time and make it up. Slowly pivoting now to we focus on the left foot. We're going to move into that low lunge position. Align the knee over the toe. Stretch into that hip flexor muscle and then release the shin and the top of the foot. Inhale, lift to a low lunge crescent and you can release the hands back into a mini back if that feels right. Exhale, come down, hands to frame the foot. Take the back toes, flip them down, lift into a low lunge. And then go ahead and pull them in for pyramid. Heart faces the big toe, straight leg, lift the heart. And then exhale, release down to focus on the back of that leg, the hamstring. Go ahead and take your left hand down the shin, stepping the back foot back about six inches, and then lift into triangle. Remember, we stack the shoulders here. We pin that back hip in, staying tall through the chest, like I could fit your body between two panes of glass. Circle the top fingertips down and then back up. And then inhale, go ahead and lift the hands flat. Take both toes to face the front of the room and then out ever so slightly. Inhale, lift the hands up above the head. Five points in the fingers and exhale, sit back down in the goddess. Like your back is running down a wall. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink. Hold here. Breathe into the hips as they open. This is where we store our creativity. Inhale, lift. Both toes point forward. Fingertips lift. And exhale, hinge at the hips. Nice flat back. Working your way slowly 
into a wide-legged fold. Elbows face back, fingertips forward as you gently pull yourself down into it. Walk your fingertips over to the right foot. Lift your heart to the big toe and exhale. Hinge to pull that space between your hips and your thigh a little closer. Inhale, walk center. And exhale over to the other side again. Heart aims at the big toe and then exhale. Close that gap. center. Ground the right hand down and lift the left fingertips up, stacking the shoulders into a twist. Exhale, bring it down. Left hand grounds down, lift the right fingertips to twist into the other side. The shoulders away from the ears, gaze follows the hand. Exhale down. Inhale, lift all the way up, scoop the energy forward, bring the palms together and exhale them to the heart. Heel toe the feet in a little bit closer. Still slightly wide, toes pointed out, heels in. Inhale, lift the hands up. And then exhale, we're going to sit down into a yogi squat. Adjust as you need to, keep the feet as wide as you need to. If you can't come all the way down, that's okay. But the goal is to stay lifted through the heart, through the crown of the head as we use our elbows to press the knees open. We store so much in the hips. And so we give them some honor today. Feel free to take little shifts back and forth in this position. To play with what it feels like even to have the hands down. It doesn't matter. Play. front of the room, taking the feet out in front of us, inhale, lift the hands up, draw the body into a nice big beautiful L, and then exhale, windshield wipe the hands down to rest at your sides, shoulders roll down and back, shoulder blades pull together, flex through the feet. body scan. Slowly walk the hands towards the feet. You can find an anchor point, lifting the heart out and then exhale into the hinge. Maybe you release the head, neck, and shoulders today. Whatever feels right to you. 
that's what comes up. Go ahead and widen the heels and make your way back to lay down for final Shavasana. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale, allow the body to grow heavy into the mat. This is your moment to let go. Imagine that midline. And as you breathe, check in with it. Where are the lost pieces of you? Now that you've given yourself a little bit of time to align, to breathe. entertaining them without solving them allow them to happen to you depersonalizing from the experience as you continue to allow what's true to come a little bit closer into the center and to your heart breathe in breathe out One last deep inhale in through the nose. And let go. Whenever you feel ready and led, you can begin to awaken your body. Give a little wiggle to your fingers, your toes, roll the shoulders, the neck. When you feel ready and led, you can make your way into a seated position for final salutations. Thank you for honoring me with your presence today, whether you're online or you're here in person. Again, if you have specific areas of the body you'd like to work on, flows, song suggestions, etc., please feel free to send them my way. I appreciate you. I do have a warning for next week. I will not physically be here to teach in person, so we will be doing some pre-recorded videos for you guys to join in on. These are flows that are new, 
um, different than what we've done before. So you can feel free to stop in if you're interested. Or we can continue our practice after this. It's completely up to you. But we'd love to have you. The room will be dark for that one since we don't have to uh, have the camera on. Appreciate you. I'm going to send you back out into the world with one beautiful namaste. Down the road. 